Let's talk about the external sidechain in HiFall. The external sidechain has a matching linear phase filter bank. That means it will recreate the exact same process if that signal came in the external sidechain or the main input. This allows you to create stems with high fall that will perfectly match the high frequency acceleration that you had in your mix when all of the tracks were going into high fall and triggering the gain reduction. So the way that I do that is first print a ghost mix. So let's go. In this demonstration, I'm gonna keep it really simple with just an instrumental and an acapella, but this would work exactly the same if you had a whole mix with 50 instruments and a stack of vocals. So now we have an instrumental and an acapella, both with their own processing, and we have a master fader with some plugins, high fall, and a final limiter. If I'm gonna make a ghost track, what I want that ghost track to do is have all of the processing that preceded high fall but not after it. So I'm gonna bypass the ozone and I'm gonna bypass high fall and I'm going to commit that track so that I have a print of the mix without high fall and without anything that came after it. The reason I'm doing that is because I want the print to match the dynamic energy that was feeding into high fall. That is gonna be the track that we use to trigger from. Now what we have is the ghost track triggering the main high fall from this external side chain, and it's gonna match the gain reduction and high frequency shaping that we set when high fall was on the whole mix. What we can do now is solo the acapella, but get triggered by the whole mix. Now that the ghost track is externally sidechained to high fall, I can solo individual channels, print them through the main bus processing, and that bus processing will react in the exact same way as it did when all of the channels were mixed into them. That's it for now. Till next time.